Hi guys, okay, I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple but really delicious braised red cabbage. It's an amazing dish from my new cookbook, Jamie's Christmas, with fennel seeds, clementine, balsamic vinegar, smoky bacon and rosemary. People are gonna go crazy for it on Christmas day, or in actual fact, any time of the year. First up, I've got a nice whole red cabbage. This is about a kilo in weight. I've taken the tatty outside leaves off. Smoky bacon here. So first job, slice it up, and I'm using a kind of casserole style pan on a medium heat. So bacon in, and we're gonna fry this off with about a tablespoon of olive oil. Then we're gonna render out the beautiful natural fat from the bacon. Beautiful. Uh, what I'm gonna do is split this red cabbage very carefully in half. Roughly and finely slice the red cabbage. The stalk, I'm just gonna literally slice up in any old way. I think this is one of the cheapest vegetables that you can buy. I think, personally, that a lot of people think that red cabbage is like a frumpy, boring veg. Absolutely no way. Delicious. Now, I can hear that the bacon is changing sound. It's starting to get golden, if you look in there. And when it's getting lightly golden, I'm gonna add two or three big sprigs of rosemary, go in, and I want the rosemary to absorb all of that lovely fat from the bacon. And the rosemary's then gonna go really, really crispy. So look at this, guys. The rosemary goes deep green and starts to go equally crispy, just like the bacon. I'm gonna remove the rosemary and the bacon with a slotted spoon, and I'm gonna leave behind the fat, right? In here, look at that. That's all smoky bacon fat. I'm gonna take a little knob of butter, put that in there. We're gonna go in with two teaspoons level of fennel seeds. Have a look at these. These are my favorite spice. I use it so often and it's really, really good. So I'm just gonna tear in some prunes, a little handful. These have the most incredible dynamic flavor. They will completely disintegrate into nothing. And then I'm gonna go in with the red cabbage. One or two nice apples, roughly chop it. This will give amazing sweetness to this dish without having to use like loads of brown sugar and stuff like that. Look at the color, guys. The amazing purple against the white of the apples. I'll add a nice little pinch of salt and pepper. And then there's one last ingredient. So I'm gonna add about eight to 10 tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. And we're gonna cook it all away. So guys, it might seem like a lot of balsamic vinegar, but please just trust me, when that cooks away, it's gonna bring all the flavors together. So you've got the sweet and the sour of the vinegar and the apples and the prunes, you know, with all those spices and the smoky bacon, it's gonna be delicious. So lid on, medium heat, 25 minutes. I'll stir that every five minutes. So, see you in 25. So this has had 25 minutes. It's a phenomenal color. You might want to add just a little bit more fresh butter just to kind of help join all the flavors. And then if you wanted to, you can just use a classic Christmas flavor like clementine. And that's the last thing, the last bit of sweetness um, that kind of stops the frying. Look at that. It's just a beautiful thing. Of course, cabbage is incredibly good for you, but we've made this so desirable, so delicious. And then don't forget the rosemary and the crispy bacon bits. Absolutely gorgeous. That'll feed, as a side dish, 10 people. Easy peasy. Really nice. Tender, but the crunch from the bacon still there and the rosemary. An absolutely beautiful red cabbage dish. If you want more red cabbage inspiration, hit the iBox up there. Aaron Kays has done a beautiful cabbage slaw with a bit of a twist. And don't forget, if you have leftovers of this, you can kind of redress it like a salad and have it with beautiful leftover things like, you know, your hams, your meats, and your cheeses, and that kind of like Boxing Day fare. So there you go, red cabbage, but not as you know it. Until next time, lots of love. <laughs>